hey hi community so today we will discuss about iam how to create the user and how to manage the policies and how to provide the accesses by iam so iam is a access management tool in aws so you just have to log in on your console which i had already done and i am just going to iam management console you can directly search from the top as well okay okay so since i am just zooming it little bit okay so since like i had already created one user so i don't have anything directly here to create it you have to go in the user maybe or if you get any option here directly to create you can also directly go i'm just going to users from left side okay so now i have one user which i had already created but it was long back so i'll create a new user so just click on add users okay so then provide the name suppose this is new test i am suppose i am creating this user okay by this name and if you want to what access you have to provide access key programming take access or password so i just have to provide the password because the user should be able to log in the particular things that we will be providing the accesses okay okay so once you provide this it will ask like auto generated password or custom password i am selecting auto generated password you can also select the custom password which anyways user has to change it later whenever he is going to log in i'm just clicking on auto generated next okay so here there are two three things like add to user group add existing policies and copy permission for existing user as of now i had created two groups so you can create your own group and inside that you can keep the policies suppose new test sample i'm creating a group okay and suppose i had to provide some particular accesses like i'll provide for s3 s3 full access and suppose i'll provide for anything like suppose ec2 maybe okay so ec2 full access and uh, any other service like rds whatever works whatever you want to provide to particular user as per your convenience you can provide so i am just providing the aws rds data full access okay i'll just create the group see new test sample has been created and inside that all these three policies are there if i just select the group and proceed with the next the whatever the policies inside this group the person will be able to have access for all these things but here this is just a group way i am not going to just directly assigning through the groups we can also assign directly policies okay so for that you just have to deselect it and go to add existing policies which these policies are managed by amazon okay amazon provides us you can also create yours so which is like separate topic itself and it is little bit long so we can see later but as of now same policies you can provide directly from here as well without creating any group why because you may have to provide different policies to different users so either you keep in a form of group or directly you can assign different policies to different kind of people in your organization so whoever needs the access as per the, as per the need maybe okay so like suppose administration access and uh, rds access rds full access will provide here okay ec2 maybe ec2 full access and what lambda suppose there is a service called lambda okay so we can provide the lambda access as well if if we want okay i'm just providing and suppose this is like user suppose like what devops so suppose i am providing these things to a devops user so we can provide some tags here you can verify all these things okay now you create the user okay so this has been created now you have to download the csv to get the password for that user i'm downloading this as well and you can also show from here 
you can copy this and hide it anyway i'm going to delete after this so you will not be able to access with the same and whenever the user will log in he has to change as well we have downloaded the csv as well and you can also send the mail i'm not sending as of now and close it up once you close it it will redirect to there okay the new test im is created okay new test im is here see so all those policies that we have assigned all these are present here right okay this i am change password is also assigned because he has to change the password as well okay groups we have not assigned any group if you want we can also assign directly from here tags we had created one tag right user devops security credentials so this is the main thing where we will have all this credential management we can manage the credentials from here suppose you have to provide some uh, some git credential if you want to provide to the particular person if you, if you want to uh, generate the key spaces for apache cassandra that you can create you can create the id for that particular person or particular user that you have created so the, like wherever you want to authenticate with particular access keys and ids so that can be used okay and yeah so the, these all few things are here once you get inside the access advisor from here you will be able to see the access logs like whatever has been accessed by the user and whatever the policies you had provided okay so these all the things are right now we can delete this but before deleting we will try to log in with the I am user okay okay I'm opening this that we had downloaded credentials okay okay sign into console take the username go to console select i am user so this is the username and password okay it is asking here account alias or account id so account id i had created but i had not copied so i don't remember so account alias for me here is shiva soul okay here we'll try with it okay account alias is this for me this here if you see here you can have yours own whenever you will be creating and now it is asking us to username and password take the username and password okay and now when you try to log in it will get logged in and it will ask us to change the password so old password is the same which is mentioned on excel here like suppose i will put test at 321 test at 321 oh, something wrong i have done See, I have given a test as 321. Anyway, I am deleting the user itself, so you will not be able to access this. Okay, now you can see here alias is Shivasol and I am user is new test IAM. Okay, and this is the 
account id as well if you want to note this up okay so account alias mine is different you can create yours or you can generate the like you can take the id and also use that so whenever you will have account you will have the particular id right so there's nothing this is the fresh user if you see what all the policies we had given like ec2 and all right so okay let's see ec2 will be able to access that right we are able to access the ec2 right what we had not provided we had uh, not provided something right or oh, yeah, we'll try to access that okay it is taking a little bit time i'll mostly fast forward from here if possible anyway it is loading okay S okay suppose what we had not provided the VPC. We'll just see. VPC also you can do it. Under EC2. Okay. So these all things we are able to create it because we have provided the administrator policy. So administrator policy will basically the IAM user will be able to do all the operations that an administrator can do. Okay, so that's why we are able to access all the policies. So we should have removed the administrator policy and then we should check it. So check the IAM again. We can also manage the IAM also because he has the access of administrator. We'll try from here. Okay, suppose get inside. Now, let's remove the administrator access, detach, and also try to remove the RDS access, okay. Now go. Had to check for the services now because you don't have administrator access so you should probably you may not be able to perform much operations so again we'll try to get inside route 53 probably we should not be able to access it or we'll check with other services see route Okay, let's refresh as well if, it's, if it is saying to refresh. We are not able to access this. Now we will try.
I'll have to check with the other service. Let's see RDS because we have removed the RDS as well, right? Okay, we are able to access the RDS. Why? Because we, since we had removed the administrator access, post that if we try to perform and try to remove any other policy, we will not be able to remove it. See. See, now I am like since I don't have a access itself like administrator access so I'm not able to access the IAM itself but if I go to root user again you remember firstly I had removed the administrator access itself and then I had tried to remove the RDS so it not got removed because I did not have an administrator access again I had to go to root user and then maybe again I had to assign the administrator policy and then again I had to provide the uh, remove the RDS and remove the administrator access as well and then if I come back again and try to access and try to uh, access the RDS from here then I will not be able to access it okay so that's how it is that's how we have to provide the particular policies and then we have to try to access it then uh, that's how in organization we used to manage our uh, root user and try to provide the accesses to the people whoever requires it right so yeah thank you thank you so much